Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over how you can link Qualtrics to a different website through a redirect link at the end of your survey when someone completes your survey. Now, the way you're going to do this is through something called an end of survey elements that can be found in two places, the survey builder and the survey flow. Those two are used for different reasons and we'll cover that in this video, but You'll use these two elements, rather this element in these two different places to connect Qualtrics to a different website for a seamless survey experience or seamless experience after someone finishes your survey. Having said that, let's hop into the survey and go over how to do this. So heading into here, the first place you're gonna configure your end of survey elements and redirect someone to a different website is here. In the survey builder itself, where the questions are, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to this end of survey element here. You're going to click on it and change it from default to redirect to a URL. In this case, I have it redirecting to Bing so that whenever someone finishes a survey, they get automatically redirected to Bing. So we can publish this and then do a quick preview. Yes. Yes, and then I should get redirected to Bing, and I do. Now, in this case, this end of survey element is usually paired pretty well with skip logic. So if I go all the way under question behavior here and say, if no is selected to question one, I skip to the end of the survey. And then now I'll do the exact same thing Preview this. Should skip right to the end and get redirected to Bing. Perfect. Now, the second place where you can configure this is the survey flow. So if I head into here, I'll click add a new element here, end of survey, customize, override survey options, then redirect to URL. So the place I'm gonna redirect to in this case is Qualtrics. And the good thing about the survey flow is everything in here overrides everything in the survey builder. So if you add an end of survey element here, this is what someone will see instead of the one in the survey builder. If there aren't any other conditions that they meet before then. Once I customize this, add that redirect link, then I can head back into the survey builder, publish this then preview this to make sure I get redirected to Qualtrics. So in this case, let me select yes, so I don't get skipped to the end of the survey. And I can select any of these options and I should get redirected to Qualtrics, and I do. Now, let's go back to the survey flow. These type of end of, end of survey elements are used with branch logic To help shuttle people around based on varying conditions. So in this case, I'm going to say question two, yes, is selected. I get branched to Qualtrics. And in this case, I'll do question two, if no is selected, I'll get branched to google.com. And then I'll head back into the survey builder, publish, and then preview this. I'm going to select yes so I don't get skipped. I'm going to select no to see if I get branched to Google. And I do. This is how you're going to set up end of survey elements to redirect people to different places in your survey. The first place you can do it is this block right here, where you can simply change this to redirect to a URL, enter the URL of your choice. Then every single time someone goes through the survey builder, and then ends up at the end, they're gonna get redirected here. Now the second place you can do it is in the survey flow itself, so that when someone either meets specific conditions or they just get to the end of survey element configured in here, that will override the survey builder, then they'll get redirected to the website of your choice. I hope that clarifies things. If you guys have any additional questions or concerns, please feel free to type it down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to take suggestions on new videos or answer any questions you guys might have about this. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon in the next video.